Now I want to revisit the triple equals operator for uh, objects. We've learned the equality operator, right? And uh, we've learned that the triple equals is the more precise way of checking if two values are equal when they are primitives. Now, how does the equality operator work in the case of objects? Again, this is a place where it, you know, the way it works in JavaScript is similar to Java or C++, but I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate anyway. Now, let's say I have, uh, I'm gonna clear all this out. Let's say I have a var my object equals my prop hello right? it's a simple object and now I have another variable my object 2 and now just because I've declared a var it is undefined at this time now what I can do is I can say my object 2 equals my object so I am having the variable my object to point to the object that my object is pointing to. So there are basically two variables. They point to the same location where the object has been defined. So no matter which variable I use to access this object, it is essentially pointing to the same location. So in order to access my prop here, I can say my object to dot my prop, or I can say my object dot my prop. They both refer to the same property of the same object. Uh, in order to demonstrate that, I can do a console.log my object to dot my prop, and it should say hello, which it does. So since they are referring to the same location, this is what the equality operator is gonna use, okay? So when you have two variables, which are objects, and you wanna compare if variable A is equal to variable B, the JavaScript interpreter checks if they are pointing to the same object, the same location in memory. If they are, then it works and the value is true. So to demonstrate that, I can say if my object is equal to my object to variables, reload and run and just like we expected these two variables are equal so object variables are equal when they point to the same object in memory